Everyone wants to get that new Christmas sweater. But all those sweaters, as fun as they may be, are part of a big sustainability problem facing the garment industry. There's a lot of inefficiency in the supply chain today. Uh, there's environmental problems, there's social problems, because there's a very exploitative nature of some of the supply chains. And then you also have the customer experience. For the brands and retailers, it takes a long while and they have to hold a lot of inventory. Design, produce, sell. That's standard procedure for the industry these days. But new technologies are poised to shake that up by eliminating waste and infusing sustainability into the supply chain, creating a new paradigm, design, sell, produce. One company involved in this is Software Automation, who is developing robots that manufacture on-demand clothing using 3D printing technology. We apply advanced machine vision technology, computer vision, along with AI and robotics to essentially uh, allow us to work with fabric, which is extremely flexible and stretchy and all kinds of good stuff, and then create from roll of fabric to a finished garment, in this case, t-shirts. What it does is it allows us to reimagine how clothing is produced and having it made on demand in local supply chains close to the customer. We want to be focused on zero inventory initiatives, which means e-commerce, small brands, online merchants who, who don't have the capacity or don't want to carry inventory. So we started with them as the core customer base uh, for the initial factory. One such potential customer would be designers like Gannett Goldstein. My workflow includes um, 3D body scan, so I'm scanning the body uh, to get the exact measurements of specific a person so I can design his garment in three-dimensional space and 3D printing it afterwards. The future is really about customization so you can design your own clothes. It's a file like we are sending a PNG and, and, and JPEG. It's just a different format. Everyone wants to be unique. I know about myself that I always want to buy clothes that no one else has. So for me, the customization is really coming from a personal perspective. And I think that's the, the new revolution that's happening, that we can make our own clothes much more locally than it is now. Streamlining the manufacturing process and eliminating oversupply could have huge positive impacts for an industry that struggles with its own disposability. The average consumer now buys 60% more clothing than they did in 2000, and each item is kept half as long. These habits contribute to the 39 million tons of post-consumer textile waste that is generated worldwide each year, most of it clothing. Software automation claims their process results in 50% less environmental impact than traditional methods, a number derived from being conscious of every step in the manufacturing process. The entire process of how you source the cotton from the most sustainable farms, then how you finish and dye, and then how you make every step of the way, you're using the most cutting edge technology uh, to eliminate all those uh, greenhouse emissions and water usage. We essentially have what we call zero discharge of water. That means we consume all the water and recycle all the water we use. As we get to scale, we expect that we'll save about 500 million gallons of water a year. For consumers, one of the main appeals of fast fashion is the price tag. But low prices, in part, come from exploitive labor practices and mass production. Palaniswamy says that doesn't have to be part of the equation. With our current uh, rollout in our current factories, we are cost competitive with uh, imported products today, all made in the U.S. We're also building in circularity into our business model up front so that when consumers are done with the shirt, they can send it back to us and we can recycle that the waste fabric and yarn back into fresh new products as well. The other thing that we pride on making with our product is we are making the best quality shirt. Goldstein feels clothes made with these new technologies may cost more, but that consumers will still find value in them. I don't think that cheap is actually something that clothes needs to be. It has to have value. Instead of buying 10 clothes, I could buy one shirt fit to my own needs. Um, I think it's also about the size. Lots of people buy online and it's just not a good fit. And with the technology of 3D body scan, it's actually much, much, much easier to fit. 
But at the end of the day, experts like Lauren Bravo say the best way to eliminate waste is by buying less and shopping secondhand. The rule that I tend to apply to clothes shopping generally, which is secondhand first. So before you go out and buy anything brand new for yourself, ask yourself, actually, could I get it secondhand? And increasingly at the moment, the answer is going to be yes. So instead of that sweater, perhaps some other gifts may be the way to go green this Christmas. I think we're starting to see people more interested in actually not acquiring more stuff that's going to sit on a shelf and gather dust, but instead presents like a voucher for your favourite restaurant, maybe tickets for a concert. At least that you know they're probably going to be used and enjoyed rather than sitting in the back of a closet.